Hey, hi, Al. Uh, welcome to this PCF. So after a long back, I'm creating the videos, guys. Okay, in this video, we are going to learn how to create Power BI free service account. So earlier, I have created one video, but that is asking. Uh, so most of the people are saying that that is asking the paid service. Okay. So in this video, we'll see how to create a free Power BI service account. Okay. So let me go to this here. Just you have to, first of all, you need to have the organization account for this. So we need to have an organization account. for. So without organization account, you cannot go and then create, okay? Uh, without organization account, you cannot go and then create the Power BI service account. Even, you know, if you use the uh, personal email like Gmail, Yahoo, Outlook, Live. So if you use any personal email, you will not get Okay, you cannot create your Power BI service account. So how to create? So we don't have any organization account. So if you do, some of the people, if you already working in an organization, so for them, if you want to create a Power BI service account, you can go and then use that. But some of the people will not have the organization account. So how to create organization account first of all? So to create that, we have so one is a, one site we have called Temp we have called temp mail so temp mail you can search google in like a temp mail the, the first site when you click on this one so it will give a temporary email id okay it will give the temporary email id see this one it is giving the temporary email id okay so just a minute So here you have to take this copy. So by clicking this one, you can take a copy of this uh, organization email ID. So now you can create a, uh, you know, your uh, Power BI service account, free service account. How to create that? Just go and then uh, powerbi.com. Just you need to go with the powerbi.com and then click enter. So it will ask email ID, okay? You have to take that organization email ID, just take a copy and then uh, paste it here. Okay, and then click submit. Okay, so whatever the process it will ask, you can go and then, so you can say it is my organization account and then click next, click next. So it will, uh, so verify code, okay, verification code. You have to set up the, you know, you have to set up the, uh, like, you know, password. You have to set up the password. So you can enter the password uh, and then, so whatever the verification code, you will receive verification code for this temporary email ID below. So you can go down. So you can go down. So there you will have the verification code. So 637441. 637441. Okay. So now you can click next. So you have to enter the name. So you can enter name like a swing was and then Bujari. so whatever the names you want select and then india so you can go and then select the country name so which country you are belongs to you can select that country so i am belongs to india so that's the reason i'm selecting india and then so your business phone number you can select your phone number so whatever the phone number you have, so you can select to that phone number So you can select the phone number and then click next. So that way you can go and then create. Yeah. So click next. It will ask the so your account has been created successfully. Now sign in. Okay. So click next. So click next so that way you can go and then sign in when you open even in power bi desktop also there also if it is asked sign in so there also you can give the sign in let me go so authenticator you have to download the authenticator so from that authenticator you can go and then scan that okay so so i have uh, i have downloaded the authenticator from my mobile 
So even you can go with the different also, but I am going with the authenticator just a minute. Okay, once you once you download the authenticator, so you can click on next. So you can click on next and then there is a scanner. Okay, it will ask to scan something. So you can go and then uh, click on place symbol and then you can select the uh, no, uh, work school account from your uh, uh, mobile and then go with the QR scan and then scan it. Okay, so it will add your account in your uh, authenticator. Okay, Microsoft Authenticator and then you can, you can click next. So that way you can sign in. Okay, that way you can sign into the Microsoft account. See, it is going and then click approve. Okay, you have to approve that from your authenticator. Okay. So you have to upload authenticator, Microsoft Authenticator in your mobile. Don't forget that. Okay, if you don't download that, okay, it will not sign in guys. Okay, don't show this again and then sign in. So it will sign into your Power BI service now. Okay. And then also you can, um, you know, uh, sign into your account. So just you can click on, you know, Power BI desktop. You can enter that mail ID. So whatever you copied, right? So if you have to save somewhere, okay? Whatever the temporary email ID. So going forward, you are going to use this one, right? So you have to save somewhere. So by using that only, you will sign in. Okay, username, password, you have to save somewhere. Okay, you, that only you are going to use in future also. Okay, once you will sign in, okay, you have to enter the password also. So where we have this. Okay. So just a minute. So yeah. get started. Okay, you can click on get started. So that is through browser. Okay, I'm saying through browser. So now, so through browser. So here is a, you know, so workspaces and everything. So through like so whatever the email ID we use that email ID. Okay, we have logged in, and uh, even in Power BI Desktop also. Once you uh, you know click on this one. So you can go with this. Uh, so whatever the mail ID we copied, right? So what is that mail ID? Organization mail ID. So this is Minto something is there, right? There is a Minto, this one. Okay, you can go and then click and then you can select the password. And then, so you can give the password and then click sign in. So even that we can go with the, you know, even in Power BI Desktop also, you can give the sign in. So it is giving the name. So earlier it was sign in. So now you can use that uh, sign in and then also in the site also you can see so here you have the workspaces and then you can create a workspace by clicking new so all these things okay all these things you can go and then do that yeah so hope you understand how to create this power bi service account guys so for this no need to pay anything it is a free service account and then so the thing is, this is the temporary. So you have to save this uh, temporary email ID. Below you will get the mails. So whatever the mails, verification codes and all. So you'll get the email uh, mails, okay? The notifications and all, okay? So that's it, guys, okay? So hope this way you can create a, your organization account and then as well as your Power BI service account, free service account. So you can create the workspaces and then whatever the so whatever you created the reports you can publish into by clicking this publish button you can publish into those reports into power bi service okay by clicking this publish button you can go and then publish so hope you like the video please like the video and then share and subscribe for more videos this okay thank you